Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden, Europa League title. Under the Northern Lights. A quest for glory. The late autumn air in Stockholm was crisp, a prelude to winter's embrace, and the city was abuzz with an energy both tangible and electric. For the residents, it was not just another Thursday. It was a Europa League match day. The local football club, AK, stood on the verge of history, and the streets bore witness to the fervor brewing in the hearts of its supporters. Among the crowd was 27-year-old Lena Anderson, a devoted AIK fan since childhood. Her passion for football ran in the family, a legacy passed down from her grandfather, who, as a boy, had watched players idolized in their youth take to the pitch in iconic matches. But for Lena, this match was more than just about family tradition. It marked a turning point for Swedish football and a personal journey. As she joined her friends in the cafe, the walls echoed with discussions about the match, both scholarly and boisterous. Football, long dubbed the beautiful game, served as an emotional anchor for Swedes in uncertain times. With the chill of darker days ahead and the world increasingly interconnected, football represented a beacon of hope. The Europa League offered more than just the chance to hoist a trophy. It embodied dreams, aspirations, and national pride. Whispers of AIK's journey through the tournament grew louder. They had fought tooth and nail to reach this stage, a mix of late-night strategy sessions and remarkable plays on the pitch that had ignited the spirits of fans across Sweden. They weren't just playing for themselves. They were carrying with them the hopes of a nation that longed for recognition and a return to the glory days of Swedish football. The cafe buzzed as news broke about AIK's rival, a formidable team from Spain. A collective intake of breath passed through the crowd. They remembered the previous matches, striking home runs that had come from the fringes of defeat. Lena recited the tales of her favorite players, recalling their grit and determination, turning their exhaustion into moments of brilliance. As the sun dipped below the horizon, shadows stretched across the city's cobblestone paths, punctuated by the glow of flickering torches leading fans to Friends Arena. The stadium loomed ahead, majestic and alive, a temple that had borne witness to both triumph and failure. It was here that Lena felt the true weight of her devotion, here that dreams would either blossom or wither. The atmosphere inside was electric, a tapestry woven from the chants of thousands. The match began with a roar and within moments, AIK's forward found an opening. Cheers erupted as the ball struck the net, sending a shockwave through the fans. Lena's heart raced. With each minute ticking by, they battled against fatigue and adversity, culminating into a nail-biting spectacle that reflected the grit of Swedish determination. As the final whistle blew, it was a draw, but it felt like victory. AIK had shown they belonged on this stage, igniting a renewed sense of hope across Sweden. Fans erupted in jubilation, tears of joy and relief mingling in the air. They had fought bravely, and their journey was far from over. Each match in the Europa League became a story they could tell, not just as fans, but as a collective identity, knit together by a shared dream. Days turned into weeks as AIK advanced, capturing the attention of the nation, each match drawing them deeper into a poignant realization. They were not just playing for a trophy, but for recognition, unity, and the love of a sport that transcended borders. The Europa League had become a stage for showcasing the soul of Swedish football, where every pass and goal became a testament to resilience and hope. As Lena looked around at the faces of her fellow supporters, she smiled, realizing that the Europa League had become more than just a tournament. It was a catalyst for change, a symbol of revival. And with every step AIK took towards potential glory, she felt a part of something much larger than herself, an integral piece of a narrative woven into the fabric of Swedish pride. In that moment, beneath the flickering lights of the stadium and the caress of the northern winds, Lena knew it was not just a search for a win. It was a search for identity, for belonging, and ultimately, for hope in the enchanting world of football.